Rich, this is the kind of story that almost has to start out at the ballpark. In this case, Fenway Park, home of the Boston Red Sox. In between the runs, hits, and errors, people are filling up on hot dogs. Known here as Fenway Franks. Vendors have found that hot dog consumption averages one dog for each person in the park. So 35,000 fans will put away a healthy 35,000 francs. But how do you make a hot dog? Well, this is where it starts, of course. But the part we're interested in happens when nature has done its job and man and machine take over. The meat arrives here in the form of processed and deboned beef and is put onto this mechanical lift. This is the grinding phase. The better the quality of the meat selected, the better the quality of the hot dog. Next, a bit of salt and a carefully measured amount of water. The resulting liquefied mixture is just the right consistency. As a semi-liquid, it can now be piped from place to place. First stop, the centrifuge. Here the meat will be whirled around at high speeds until the air is forced out of it. The texture now begins to resemble that of a finished hot dog. But another step remains to make them look more like what we're used to. This machine prepares the meat for cooking by pumping it into heat-resistant cellophane. A special twist is added. The twist between hot dogs that first gives them their characteristic shape. This is the oven where the hot dogs cook and acquire their smoky flavor. When they leave, their temperature will be 165 degrees. And now it's time to get down to business. First, they get rid of that cellophane wrapping. Dog. Now we're getting somewhere. And at a terrific rate. 100,000 of them an hour. 8 million every week. They're starting to look more like what you see at the ballpark now as they head for the packaging department. Cows, machines, and human hands have all played their part. Now these dogs are bound for the ballpark. And we've seen their journey begin because... <laughs> 